Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we're reviewing the GoSun Chillist electric cooler. This is a battery-powered cooler so that you can actually take it off its leash, carry it out to the beach with you, campground, ball game, backyard, whatever. But I want to read over some of the specs and the description of this thing so that we get it right, but I'll leave a link to it in the YouTube description. This is the first unboxing of this thing that you're going to see on YouTube. How cool is that, huh? And uh, But this is a 45 liter cooler. Uh, it'll go to negative 4 degrees up to 68 degrees and it's got two separate zones. One can be a freezer, one can be just the cooler and you can set those zones appropriately. I already have one. It's the Bodega and I think it's like a 65 quart or something like that but it's plug-in only. It's got the compressor built in just like this one. So it's really cool to get this. The only trick that's uh, gonna exist with this thing over time is the degree of tilt with that compressor so i'm curious about how you can raise this thing up and scoot it around with the wheels that it has on it but it's got a, a nice clever design that we'll get into in a little bit uh, runs off of 12 or 24 volt dc ac power solar or battery so that you can buy their big solar sheet use that to recharge the battery or power the the fridge and it's also got an external battery that you can buy from them as well. It says it's a brushless compressor on here that's quiet. Uh, it can make ice is what it says, but that's probably dependent on the temperature outside because, you know, it's not like a full-fledged refrigerator. But it'll get you close, because or at least my uh, old one will, so it's going to be cool to test this one out. It says the Chillis can run off of its built-in 87-watt-hour battery. External power banks like the GoSun's Power 144 or the 26 or the 266 DC car outlet wall adapter or additional power from GoSun solar panels like the 30 watt solar panel, 60 watt solar table, etc. I have the solar table coming at some point. I think they said it's going to be here maybe next month. That'd be January or so, maybe later. But it's actually uh, it'll go down in the umbrella holder on this thing. And it'll be a nice big old table that's also a solar panel so that is cool for the beach um i think that's kind of it uh, to talk about right now so let's unbox this and hopefully the thing's okay and these things are pretty heavy this isn't a roto molded cooler or anything it's more like a traditional cooler with a compressor built into it so it's not ultra heavy because I imagine with a roto molded, roto molded cooler on top of a compressor and a battery and all that, it'd be crazy heavy with the ice and all that stuff. But this was just like a traditional, like uh, the newer igloo types and stuff. But let me somehow pull this thing out. Here's a handle. I feel you. I can feel you handle. And there's really nothing else in the box because hopefully everything's inside of here. But this has been still and steady for a period of time. I think they want you to leave it still for like six hours or so with, with the compressor from it uh, jolting around and stuff from shipping. So when you do get it in, don't go crazy and plug it in. Let it sit for like half a day first. Or that's the way it is with all the refrigerators I've moved in the past anyway. Uh, here... Let me see how this comes out, because this is the first time I'm ever dealing with this. Hello, hello, there's the button. Two buttons here, that's nice. Here's a nice pouch. This thing's hard. I thought it was fabric. It's actually a hard case, which is really, really nice. And a little small little thing there, maybe, for your keys or something. That, that's super nice, but your external battery pack can go there let's take this off we don't need it there's your i'm assuming to maybe charge or charge your device from this device anyway uh so here's your screen i'm sure it's got an app with it my other one my other cooler that's not battery has an app it's just uh that's cool look at the wheels okay just these little corner pads here one thing about this cooler which is pretty crazy, is 
I've been researching these battery ones for a while and they've existed. China's just pumping them out like crazy, but rebranding them as other things like Bodega. Bodega had that rebranded because it was made out of a manufacturer it just makes these generic coolers. You can go on Alibaba.com, type in battery powered coolers and you'll see a black, maybe gray one that looks just identical to this. Uh, so I'm not saying that Go Sun as a, looking to see where their logo and stuff is okay it's over here how is it looks like it's printed in a spot where a generic logo might could go i don't know if you can see that but it's a wide cleared out spot cleared out area here that's smooth that's large and their logo is kind of on that so this very well could be one that's just mass produced and uh you know they've had a few little engineering demands and that they've changed and stuff like that uh, I don't know that. That's just me speculating. So let's open this up. Wow, you get two baskets. That's cool. And the box and the manual here. That's cool. What's in the What's in the box? There's ACDC. So this is nice. So the bungee straps, I do remember seeing that. The bungee straps will go here. These little hooks here will go over and there's other little uh, areas to hook it to on the back side, just like this front. So that'll go over to strap down your chairs or anything else that you're carrying out to the beach, we'll, <clears throat> we'll say. So that's just two generic bungee straps. So here is the car adapter that comes with it. So it's a nice long uh, cable with this Velcro tie, which is nice. It's kind of the same setup as my Bodega. Uh, looks like the cha same kind of charging block as well. So this is the one that's going to go into your wall. Boom. There you go. And we're, we're going to, I'm going to plug it in with us here and just to hear what the compressor might sound like with it plugged in, but I don't think it will make any noise till I turn it on. So we'll wait. We'll wait and check that out in a later video. Uh, okay. Where was that? It looks like you get a bottle opener here portable power for the people go sun brandy you get four of these little clips that i'm not too sure what they are yet i'll look in the manual manual before we close and let you know that which i can do that right now let's look uh portable cooler doesn't need any ice i like that um there's some specs there from clearance reasons. Oh, about how you need to keep this while in use. Now for travel. Yeah, so eight inches away from the vent side, I guess, mm -hmm. four inches. What's the four inches from the bottom? I guess the rear, the, the, the rear, okay. We need to keep that so you need to keep your rear clear in the sides. <clears throat> uh, we had good luck with the bodega. We packed it out and we have a, uh, car adapter, a little uh, cigarette lighter adapter port on the back is what I always call it. Uh, and we just plugged it in and packed it full and left it back there in the back. And it, with the app, I could constantly check on it throughout the trip, just to make sure it's still running and working. We get that instant feedback. So that was very cool. I wonder, I bet the app that I have there, because I'm wondering if it's the same maker over there in China, uh, the same app might work with it. That'd be cool to know, which we'll find out in the next video. But here's some stuff there if you want to pause. Look at it. I still don't know what these clips are for. Trash bag clips. Ah. Oh. Those are trash bag clips. Is that what this is? No, that's the cutting board, which we'll get into that in a little bit. But I bet. wonder. Trash bag clips. Oh, that's neat. So you can just have a... I guess I go that way, huh? Or go that way. Yeah, we're always trying to... Yeah. Now the wind's gonna take this like crazy at the beach, so you always gotta tie it down. It's gonna be so low. There you go. But how? I guess a, a 13 mm -hmm. uh, gallon bag. Probably go like that. Okay. There you go, a little trash bag, I guess, there. We'll just, and I'll take these off before I leave. Yeah, I'll put these in the bag. But the cool thing I like though is all your charging cables and everything can go in that bag for storage, which is cool. Um, here is 
the handle, and the handle's made the exact same as my Bodega, which that's this is the area of concern I have. This thing fully loaded. This plastic is not that stout. So when you're picking it up, these things push up against this. And I'm always afraid these things are going to break and crack off, but it looks like you could screw these out and replace them. But still, what's the lead way time on these replacement parts? Are they ever going to have any? Uh, here's the battery here, and it pops out. And the cool thing is, look at these, uh, look at the model number if you want to here, and the voltage, your size capacity, and all this kind of stuff, because you could probably, if you pre-order this cooler or, or purchase it online, ever how long it takes to get to you, you can go ahead off of Alibaba or AliExpress or something like that and go ahead and order these batteries because they actually sell them. And I think it's, it looks to me to be the same as the mass-produced ones that look a lot like this one. Probably takes the same battery, but here's the specs. You can always uh, email the seller of the batteries with this model information here and just go ahead and get a, you know, oh, look, you can push your power button and get a, uh, how much? I got a half a charge. That's really cool. So, and you can see that there's a little work connector here. It matches down there so you can see it. Uh, looks like it's a cool, they got holes in the back vented to maybe keep the battery cool. So it will might pull some cool air in from here and kind of help keep this. This came out pretty easy. Well, did it? Doesn't make a hard snap to let you know that it's in there. So be very mindful. There we go. There's a the snap. Here's the solar port. Charging port is here. These are the, the typical plastic wheels that you see on like the cheaper Igloo wheels. So those are there. They're not, I don't think the, it feels plastic. I don't think it's any type of rubber, but it just feels like plastic. Uh, inside, you do get a basket, which I like that because then you could, it's easy just to pull the stuff out carry it into your refrigerator when you get home or when you get to the hotel or whatever and just kind of not have to worry with this so that's nice here is the seal around it it's a typical pretty good seal it sticks down quite a bit there so i bet it's going to seal here's a little gap here but there is a plastic gap so it should push and seal off here so i'm not too concerned with that here's a cutting board this thing out yeah cut this up so that is nice to have that been cool maybe have something over that way since i did something there but whatever uh how does it click when it shuts yep nice so that is pretty cool uh here on the side above the wheel there you see the ventilation for it it's the exact same on the other side uh, the compressor's in there and under this hump here. So it only goes down so far. There's no drain over here for this side. There's a drain plug over here for the larger size side. Uh, this is where the umbrella can go. You can get an umbrella for it. It'll go here. It's just finger tied. I don't think so. I think they're too big. Maybe the sport umbrella might can fit in there because this is kind of I don't know. We'll see. We'll play with that as well. Right here is where the elbow, the solar table will go, and it, and it actually pivots and slides out of the way. So whenever you close this, you can slide it over for storage, and the, the solar table will just go here above and go down when you're ready for it. You can unscrew these, raise it up a little bit, and actually swing the table over. You can see that from the photos from the link that I send you. But uh, right now, as it sits, this is, of course, Pretty light and easy to maneuver because this is just like any typical. Uh, main thing I worried about is walking with my heels hitting this, but I don't think I don't think it's a problem at all because I'll grab it here and go through the sand, and my legs are pretty free from it. And this is pretty comfortable, good ergonomic here. It actually has padding here, which is a little different from some coolers. This slides back there's nothing in here it's rolling with me there we go uh you don't get much clearance back here when you tilt this thing back it's got an angle back here on the corner to, comp to compensate for the tilt but you only have maybe an inch of clearance back there so this thing is just going to slide across the sand those wheels aren't going to do anything so it's just like you're just going to 
slide it across. Worst case, you're gonna get some salt sand up in here. You might, it on that, so. Maybe, oh yeah, it'll do fine and everywhere else. But I just worry about the compressor going across gravel, tilting it more than like 15 or 20 degrees or so, whatever it calls for the you to not tilt a compressor for. So I wonder if that this type of compressor can handle that. There's a bottle opener right here, uh, right there. One cool thing would have been, where is the LED lights? I think there's a light. I think that's a light right there, I think. There should be a light in here. There's one, there, no, they're right here. One light there and one light bar here. I can tell that. So one and one light. So you get a freezer, fridge, light. But you can make both these sides of the fridge, but it comes out to be, let's say, 45 quart fridge. So I'm going to plug this thing in. And then from now on out, everything that we do outside, I'm going to use this for a period of time and just see how it goes. I'm interested. And if it goes well, I'll purchase some batteries from AliExpress or somewhere, some Chinese website or something, and see if these generic batteries work with this thing, because I bet it might. I don't know. I don't know about any of that stuff. So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that dong so you get notified on the next pretty cool unboxing that we do. We're gonna do a full review. This is just my first impressions of this thing and also knowing about these types of coolers from a lot of research prior to me grabbing that bodega one there. So, and getting this one too. So, um, yeah, that's all I have. The pouch is pretty cool. It's pretty hard. I, I like the battery idea. I really like it all. I understand this is gonna scoot across the sand and the wheels aren't going to be any good and it's the perfect size for a family of four i believe so we'll check out all that good stuff so make sure to subscribe see ya